it's no secret that that guy likes to bet on sports. Uh, that's been known forever. And uh, he likes to gamble. So I don't see what the big deal is. Uh, you know, I, I guess people get all ruffled and worked up about people that uh, bet on sports. And, um, you know, there's a lot way, way worse things he could be doing, in my opinion, than betting on sporting events. Uh, it's funny, no one ever says anything about Floyd Mayweather betting a half a million dollar on a game. Uh, but it, when, when uh, Phil Mickelson uh, gambles, suddenly uh, it's a problem. I, I don't get it. Like, uh, you know, the problem is, is where, how, how you're doing it offshore or how you're doing it with a bookie. That's all obviously uh, taboo, illegal, quote unquote. But um, the feds know that everybody bets uh, with bookies and offshore. It's no secret to the feds. Um, and the feds could shut down all those offshore operations if they really wanted. Why don't they? Um, that's the question. And then what, what they're going to pin some, something on a pro golfer that's famous because he likes to bet on sports? How ridiculous is it? Who cares what that guy does with his... He's made $51 million this year playing golf. If he wants to bet $3 million on sporting events, what's the problem? I, I, don't, I really don't see what the problem is. Uh, now, they're saying that some guy's washing money for him, basically, right? Um, and uh, allegedly, all this other nonsense. The bottom line is, um, when you're that rich and you have that kind of cheddar, um, do you think he cares about $2 million, $3 million?